Hi, I'm fisheries biologist Brett Latigo with another update on the results from the 2020 Statewide Angler Survey. Today, I am going to broadly discuss responses from the survey that focus on how the department approaches salmonid management. From these statewide surveys, which have been conducted throughout the last 30 years, we have learned that salmonids, a family of fish that contain over 60 species worldwide, are extremely important to anglers. In Vermont, we have five popular salmonid species, which include brook trout, brown trout, rainbow trout, lake trout, and Atlantic salmon. In 2019, Anglers collectively spent an estimated 1.2 million days targeting these species in open water alone. This recent survey also showed us that in Vermont, anglers prefer a variety of trout management types and felt that managing for both stocked and wild trout were nearly equally important, with over 70% of anglers supporting each type of management. This is one reason we strive to provide a diversity of angling opportunities for these popular species throughout the state. We raise several species at our five fish culture stations and stock these fish in many different waters for many different reasons. In some areas where wild trout populations are lacking, mostly due to habitat limitations, we stock trout to provide a fishing opportunity that would not exist otherwise. We also stock species such as brook trout, lake trout, and Atlantic salmon to help restore populations that may be in decline or no longer can maintain self-sustaining populations. In Vermont, we are fortunate to also have an abundance of streams and rivers, in addition to some lakes and ponds, that provide wild, naturally reproducing trout. And fisheries staff devote a large amount of time working to conserve these populations through habitat protection and restoration, through projects such as dam removal, culvert replacements, tree plantings, and adding woody habitat to streams. These practices help ensure that our waters remain clean and our aquatic resources available for future generations. Whether you already fish for trout and salmon or are new to this type of angling, I would highly recommend you give it a try this year. You can find a list of our water bodies that have been stocked on our website by clicking on the fish tab and then scrolling down to the fish stocking link on the left. You can also refer to our department's fishing guide for a map of both stocked and wild trout waters near you. 